welcome back to my blog. It's Amazing Angel. Angelica Santelasis Vlogs. So yeah, ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang intermittent fasting. Marami kasi nagtatanong sa akin if what is my secret? Bakit ako ganun-ganun lang um, nag-lose ng weight in just two months? They're asking me, mga kaibigan ko. So, yeah. I did intermittent fasting. Noong unang panahon pa lang, yung intermittent fasting ay ginagawa na siya ng ancestors natin. Way back then, yung kinakain lang nila is whole foods, which is yung vegetables, fruits, and animals, which is the meat. Bale, hindi sila kumakain ng processed food, kaya hindi uso sa kanila yung cardiovascular diseases, cancer, um, diabetes, high blood, at marami pang iba. They are, they are strong and lean. They have lean muscles, yung mga ancestors natin. Tingnan mo yung mga pictures dun sa during our elementary days or high school days. May kita natin na yung mga ancestors natin walang obese sa kanila. Walang overweight. Hindi naman sinasabi ko dito na um, ayoko ng obese at weight. Uh, overweight, I mean. It's just that it's our body but then we have to take responsibility and kailangan din natin alagaan yung katawan natin. Hindi dahil ibig sabihin na ating to katawan, gagawin natin lahat ng gusto natin, even though nakakasama na. So, paano nga ba gawin ang intermittent fasting? There are different methods of intermittent fasting. First is yung sa beginner, which is yung 16-8 method. Yung 16-8 method is 16 hours fasting, and 8 hours eating period or eating window. Yung 16-8 is ginagawa siya ng mga beginners usually. And then another one is yung 14-10 which is yung 14 hours fasting and 10 hours eating period. Ganun din yun. So, ano lang yan? You have to choose if you have to skip breakfast or you have to skip dinner. Well, for me, in my case, um, I chose skipping breakfast. Later on, I will discuss it why you have to choose what's the best method for you when you are doing intermittent fasting. Um, next one is yung 5-2. Yung 5-2 is you have um, 5 days um, eating period then 2 um, full days um fasting. Kumbaga, may two days ka sa in a span of one week na hindi ka kakain. Then, five days, nakakain ka. And also, yung ano pala, yung ginagawa ko dito sa pag-schedule ko is, for example, um, nagsiskip ako ng breakfast, ba? Yung pag-skip ko ng breakfast, kumakain ako pag 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Bale, I eat two full meals a day wherein I eat at 12 p.m. Then I eat at around 6 to 7 p.m. Yun. Ano nga pala yung intermittent fasting or IF? Yung intermittent fasting is a pattern um, that cycles your eating period and your fasting period. So it's not about or it's it does not specify kung Ano yung kakainin mo? Imbes, yung kailan kakakain or when you are going to eat. So, yun na nga. I have to follow um, every step when it comes to doing intermittent fasting. It's not just um, kakain ka ng kahit ano during your eating period. Siyempre, you have to eat healthy then whole foods. Yun. Ano nga pala yung yung benefit ng intermittent fasting. There are a lot of benefit when it comes to doing intermittent fasting. First is, your body um, nag adapt siya mag-burn ng fats. Later on, I will discuss it to you. And also, um, 
it avoids you from getting cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, high blood, or any chronically chronic illnesses. Lapencies, cardiomyosis. Chronic illnesses. Um, it makes you feel fit, active, and awake. And through intermittent fasting, it helps you to burn fats. Because during your fasting period, you totally burn fats. A lot of fats. So overall of intermittent fasting, it improves your well-being, your health. Who are allowed to do intermittent fasting? Of course, intermittent fasting is for people um, na walang um, active na sakit like um, cancer or any chronic dis what the fudge? Chronic illnesses. So yun. Bale, bawal din dito mag intermittent fasting yung mga pregnant or yung breastfeeding women because they really need to eat food because pag nagbe breastfeed di ba kailangan ng nutrients ng mother and then the nutrients will be given to the baby so how to do intermittent fasting um properly actually it's based on my experience and i did a lot of research research about this before I um, before I do intermittent fasting because alam naman natin na yung body natin iba iba and we have to make sure na yung body natin is na adapt yung gagawin natin um, gagawin natin mga pagda diet na yan so, yun. so how to do um, intermittent fasting properly First is don't start with intermittent fasting immediately. You have to do it one step at a time. For example, if you are used to eating breakfast with two cups of rice every day, um, you can just lessen it to one cup a day during your breakfast. Kasi hindi naman yan kailangan na bibiglain mo yung katawan mo. You have to do it one step at a time. Ulitin ko ha. One step at a time. So, hanggang all the way down, makakat mo na yung calories. We're in. You have to fix your eating habits. Fixing your eating habits. Like for example, kanina na sinabi ko, kumain ka ng dalawang rice every breakfast. Pwede mo siyang cut into one cup of rice na lang have to do it one step at a time um and also pwede mong gawin na mag-replace ka ng alternatives sa mga kinakain or iniinom mo like for example yung coke regular usually drink coke regular so you have to um switch to another coke which is yung coke zero but hindi ko naman sinasabi na maganda yung Coke Zero. It's just na you have to um, choose or switch another um, type of drink na parang nalilas yung ano mo, yung um, sugar intake mo. Later on, I will um, discuss about yung insulin level. Second is you have to pick um, pick a fasting schedule that fit your lifestyle. So, kung for example, these are the questions na um, tinatanong natin sa ibang tao when it comes to fitting, um, when it comes to picking a schedule that will fit our lifestyle. For example, if are you a mom? Are you a father? Are you, do you do physical labor? Do you do night shift? Do you do um um physical labor yeah so physical labor um meron ka bang family you have do you have to sit in during um dinner sa family mo you have to be um i mean you have to evaluate everything before ka mag intermittent fasting kasi you have to pick a schedule 
na nababagay talaga sa lifestyle mo. Like for example, for me, usually kasi, late ako nagigising ng umaga. So, yung ginagawa ko is, huwi na ako nakakapag-breakfast, lunch na lang. So, nag-skip ako ng breakfast. Diba ginagawa ko is 16-8 method. So, I eat at 12 p.m. until 8 p.m. Nag-skip ako ng breakfast. Like, for example, ngayon, we have this pandemic. So, wala naman akong work ngayon. So, kailangan mo talaga evaluate kung ano talaga yung mag-fit sa lifestyle mo. Number three is intermittent fasting is very flexible. So, the good thing about um, intermittent fasting is its flexibility when it comes to your diet. Like, for example, kailangan mo umatay ng birthday. Huwag mong isipin na pag pumunta ka ng birthday, sabi mo, ay, ayaw ko kumain ng cake kasi... I'm having my fasting period right now. You have to enjoy because it's a birthday. You have to enjoy it. So, for example, pumunta ka ng ano, um, you're doing 16-8. Like for me, I do 16-8. So, pag pumunta ko ng birthday celebration, for example, lunch ako pumunta doon. So, 12 naman yung, 12 p.m. naman yung eating window ko until 8 p.m. So, I can still eat during that celebration. So, yung ano din is yung intermittent fasting. It's not um it's not bad if you have your cheat meal. But it's not good naman pag your cheat meal is every day. So you have to plan. Plan your cheat meal day. Kasi pag you um mag cheat magkaroon ka ng cheat day dapat yung cheat day na yon pag the next day you have to make bawi. Wow. <laughs> You have to make bawi. Kumbaga, babawi ka. Babawi ka pagka kinabukasan. You have to eat healthy, drink healthy, avoid processed foods, eat whole foods. Number four, stick, stick to a zero tolerance approach. Kumbaga, during your fasting period, dapat wala kang kakainin. Except, Pwede kang uminom ng tubig, water, pwede kang uminom ng tea, pwede kang uminom ng coffee. Batin yung coffee, walang creamer. It's just pure black coffee. So, when you're fasting, hindi pwede kahit konting pagkain. Bawal kumain. Pag during your fasting period, bawal lumabas, choke magkas kumain ng kahit ano. Kung bagay, you have to eat lang during your eating window. So, yung pag during fasting period mo, wala kang kakain. Imbes, pwede ka uminom. But then, yung iinumin mo, dapat walang sugar, walang artificial sweetener or creamer. So, you have to stick to a zero tolerance approach. So, kung hindi mo to sundin, yung insulin level mo tataas which triggers na yung yung imbes na magbe-burn ka ng fats yung ano mo yung fats mo mas store hindi siya mag-burn kasi yung insulin level mo mataas kasi during your fasting period kumain ka it breaks your fast if you eat during your fasting period tip number 5 so you have to pair it with a diet that moderates your insulin level So, what I mean here is, kung you are going to do an intermittent fasting, kailangan you have to eat yung mga whole foods. Hindi yung mga processed foods, namely yung canned goods, yung um, frozen foods. Kasi it triggers um, high insulin level. So, pag may high insulin level ka, your body will be blocked from burning fats. So, pag di ka mag-burn ng fat, it will turn you, um, I mean, it will um, really make you gain weight. So, pag mag-gain ka ng weight, lana. Pag mag-gain ka ng weight, what I mean here is, <laughs> mahirap na mag-lose. Kasi pag maging obese ka, 
ang tagal mag So, hanggang ngayon pa lang, hindi ka pa nandun sa obese na state, meron ka pa chance. I mean, we all have chances. But then, um, we're getting old, so, kailangan ngayon pa lang, mga bata pa lang tayo, or especially mga teenagers dyan, mga ano, kahit sino, you have to do it now. Kasi kung hindi, ngayon, kailan? So, nung during our ancestors, yung mga ancestors natin during their time, so, they hunt and gather. So, kita naman natin sa yung, yung mga pictures, di ba, ng mga ancestors natin, so, walang ubis sa kanila. Usually, they are strong and lean. They have lean muscles. It's because they gather and hunt. They only eat um, a little more pag during their harvest time. So, pag the harvest time, they have to limit what they eat. So, they do physical um, activities because they hunt. Nagahanap sila ng mga makakain nila like yung mga wild na mga pigs dun sa forest. Yun. They have to hunt and gather just to live, just to eat. Um, usually yung mga ancestors natin, hindi sila nagsasuffer from um, modern diseases like cardiovascular diseases, um, high blood, diabetes, cancer. It's because they eat whole foods. So, in short, we have to eat um, in accordance to the human diet. Kumbaga, during pa nung panahon during panahon pa ng mga ancestors natin, they stick to the human diet, which is eating whole foods. Tip number six, you have to ride the hunger wave. So, kung hindi ka kumain during your fasting period, hindi ka mamamatay. Okay, <laughs> hindi ka mamamatay. You're not gonna die if you fast for 16 hours. Then you will eat at during your 8 hours eating period. You're not gonna die. So, if you feel this sensation, yung, yung feeling mo gutom ka na, usually yung pagiging gutom natin, nagtitrigger siya ng... Ano, yung nagiging galit tayo, irritable, it's because gutom. But then, if you feel the sensation, it's the best time to drink water, tea, or coffee. Yung coffee without creamer, or not milk tea, okay? Yung tea lang, yung pure tea, like yung green tea, um, any tea, basta walang sweeteners. Sweeteners. <laughs> sweeteners. <laughs> sugar <laughs> yung mga tea and coffee they are good um, um, appetite suppressants kumbaga nalilas yung pag crave mo ng pagkain kasi when you tend to drink coffee or tea it suppress your appetite tip number 7 um, you have to pair intermittent fasting with exercise. So, kung nag-intermittent fasting ka, hindi lang ibig sabihin na na magpa-fast ka and you have to eat during your eating period, but also you have to exercise. Kung gusto mo, um, yung result is um, agad-agad. Kumbaga, pag mag-exercise ka, yung metabolism mo mas tumataas nagbe-burn ka, pag mataas yung metabolism mo, nagbe-burn ka ng maraming fats. Um, an example of exercise is na maganda talaga during intermittent fasting is yung resistance training. Like for example, you do weightlifting using resistance band. Um, also, yung cardio na mga exercises. You can do it naman like 10 minute walk lang muna sa park or kahit saan like baby steps lang ba kumbaga hindi mo naman kailangan na gumawa ka agad ng ng exercise na mabibigla yung katawan mo baby steps kumbaga 10 minutes 10 minutes muna na walk sa park or sa kalsada or 
<laughs> Saan mo gusto maglakad? Papunta sa crush mo, maglakad ka 10 minutes lang. 10 minutes, papunta doon. Go! Walang mag-ano sa'yo. So, kumbaga, you have to exercise. Pair it with exercise. Kasi, pag mag-intermittent fasting ka, tas you do it with exercise, yung chances na mag na yung metabolism mo tumaas is very high. So, you have to pair it with exercise. Um, tip number eight. So, yung tip number eight ko is get enough sleep. Kumbaga, seven to nine hours quality sleep. Alam ko na yung ibang makikinig ngayon is sabihin, underrated naman yan na tip para sa intermittent fasting sa diet. No. Yung pag tulog ng 7 to 9 hours or yung quality sleep is very important kasi pag you lack sleep, it messes your hormones. Kumbaga, pag maging mess na yung hormones mo, bale, dun, nag, nag, nagsisikrit yung katawan natin ng hormones na kailangan natin mag pinch eating kasi we sleep late at night. Usually, di ba, pag kagaya ko, pag natutulog ako ng late, I usually eat during midnight. So, I really want to avoid sleeping late. Kasi pag natulog ka ng late, dyan yung tendency, nakakain ka talaga. Nakain ka, nagugutom ka during um, during midnight. So, doon. nag ka ng midnight snack. Kuha ka ng cheese, kuha ka ng chocolate, kuha ka ng anything na pagkain sa ref nyo. Kasi gutom ka pag tutulog ka. So, I mean, pag late ka na matulog, so, the less you sleep, the more you wait. Tip number 9. So, yung tip number 9 ko is you have to manage your stress levels. Kasi pag stress tayo, nagsisecrete yung katawan natin ng cortisol, which is yung stress hormones. So, pag mag-secrete mag tayo ng cortisol, um, dito na trigger yung high insulin level. Kumbaga, hindi ka mag-burn ng fat. Kasi, di ba, meron kang high insulin level. So, dito nagaganap yung stress eating. It's because of cortisol. So, kung stress ka, stress ka sa bahay, stress ka sa work mo, sa jowa mo, <coughs> sa crush mo, na hindi ka pinapansin, na stress ka, pabayaan mo na. You have to manage everything when it comes to stress. Kasi dito, pag hindi mo ma-manage, hindi ka mag-lose ng weight. Remember that. Tip number 10, the last but not the least tip sa mga tips ko sa intermittent fasting is you have give some time you have to give some time which is be patient be nice to yourself be patient kasi hindi naman yan agad-agad na makikita mo yung result mo dapat meron kang hard work bago mo ma makita yung ultimate na result na gusto mo talaga makita so have you ha you have to be patient and be nice to yourself wag kang mag um mag-isip masyado. Kasi, pag mag-isip ka na masyado, stress ka na naman, mataas na naman yung high, yung insulin level mo. So, be patient. It, it may took you, um, weeks, months, or even years para makita mo yung result. But, you have to be patient. Kaya mo yan, sis. You're amazing. So, so, for me, lahat ng diet na mga plans ginawa ko na noon. But then, intermittent fasting lang talaga yung tumulong sa akin. Bakit ako ngayon nag ng weight from 53 kg to 45 kg. But at end of course, ginagawa ko to through exercise. Then, may exercise. It's not just um, intermittent fasting alone. So, for me, intermittent fasting is a very powerful tool for weight loss. So, kung gusto mag um, lose ng weight, tip ko lang is you have 
you can do intermittent fasting. So, disclaimer lang, hindi ako um, expert, um, hindi ako doktor, but then, I do research. Research para um, i-try ko sa sarili ko na yung mga different types of diet tips ginawa ko na. But then, intermittent fasting lang talaga yung na-adapt ng katawan ko which is yung 16-8 method. So, if you still need to um, approach um, a doctor, especially dun sa may mga sakit na or ano, kasi um, you still need to ask for advices. You still need to ask advices dun sa mga expert, which is yung mga doktor or dietitian, nutritionist, kasi sila yung mga magagaling talaga. It's just my opinion and this is my experience nga gusto ko i-share sa inyo na yung intermittent fasting is a very powerful tool na for weight loss na ginawa ko para mag-lose ng weight. So, kung may pros yung intermittent fasting, of course, meron din cons. Mas lalo na yung mga yung mga nag-uumpisa pa lang or yung mga beginner sa intermittent fasting usually um, nagiging irritable kayo gutom kayo kasi pag gutom kayo di ba nagiging irritable kayo tapos nagagalit kayo so yeah na experience ko din yon na mga sensation na yon so when i tend to be hungry usually nagagalit ako but ganyan lang yan as time goes by, ma-adapt mo din yan. Pag ma-adapt mo din yan, magiging lifestyle mo siya. So, yun lang po ngayon yung ano ko, yung vlog ko. So, for more videos, please subscribe and click the notification button para marami pang videos na i-upload ko soon. So, this is my first vlog and I hope you like it. Sana nakatulong ako sa mga gusto magtanong kung bakit ako nang lose ng weight. So don't forget to hit the notification button. Para amazing, amazing, amazing.